Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Naz. Together, all three of us in a room make the Office Blokes. Yes, we do. We, we do. are complete again. You've made us whole again, Mike. <laughs> three of us. <laughs> yep, all three of us. And uh, Office Bloke Mike is going to tell you all about our new YouTube membership scheme. It's really good. Go to our YouTube channel and it's on there. <laughs> go go to our is. YouTube channel. Wouldn't it be on our YouTube channel already? <laughs> yeah, I think it's actually below this video when you're watching us now. You can click yeah. join. That's next, how you Next is. to subscribe, it says join, and that's yep. how you initiate that process. Taste on at one ninety nine. Don't forget four ninety nine. One pound ninety nine. One pound ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. It's exciting stuff. See if you set it in US dollars and don't want one ninety nine, that'd have been roughly about one pound fifty. Uh, that's true. Probably would. Mm, that is good true. Point that. Right, can't change it now. But it's done. Tom Segura, the first 48. I used to watch the first 48 at one point. What is it? Is it like it's a like, series or? It's like a dramatised thing about real life murders where they followed the ah, detectives yeah, for the first it. 48 yeah. hours. Oh, right, yeah. okay. I, I watched it in the States. And no, I think I watched it in Canada first. And it was pretty. Yeah, I've seen it. It was pretty graphic and it's pretty yeah. gritty. And then it came over here and it was. Um, on Discovery or something mm. like that, and it was watered down massively. Yeah, but right. it's the first forty-eight hours after a crime. Do you reckon that's when it's that's when it's uh, the, the best time to catch yeah. the, the the offender? Yeah, for evidence yeah. and stuff, yeah. and it like yeah. halves the possibility of finding mm. the killer if you don't do it mm. in the first forty-eight hours yeah. or yeah. what something like yeah. that. I watched one where uh, someone had been shot in a in a, a, a local park, and then the guys had like hung the guy over a swing and then pantsed him. So when they found his dead body, he was like. <laughs> it's like no, even more of an insult no. of like but yeah I, I used to enjoy it but when I watched it in this country it was just it wasn't the same yeah. the, the crimes are not as severe in this country though are they it's the US I mean, you get murder I know you get murder sort of thing it's the US oh it's the US, it's the US one oh, I, seen, yeah. no, I seen the UK I seen the one UK based right yeah. when, when I watched it I'm sure it was Canada it was grittier it was mm. like they showed a bit more blurred out right. grimness and yeah. you know like right okay yeah but anyway, I presume that's what this is about. Right, okay. I hope so. Yeah, Otherwise, I'll just chat pants for ages. <laughs> Tom Segura, first 48. Let's do it. I can't tell you where to go. I can tell you where not to go. Wherever they film the first 48 <laughs> on A&E. <laughs> oh, if you're not familiar with the show, here's what it is. Camera crews follow real homicide detectives for the first 48 hours after a murder. And the reason that that time distinction is so important is that after 48 hours, uh, they give up on that murder. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, that's some old shit. What do you want to do today? <laughs> You're like, how about you keep trying to solve that murder, man? That shit happened on Monday. It's Wednesday. We're not going to solve that shit. <laughs> really? There are so many amazing moments on that show. So many. A lot of the episodes take a similar path. I'm blown away, first of all, at how many times there's a witness to a murder. It's crazy. I always thought murders happened in dark alleys. <laughs> Nobody saw shit. No. Every other episode, they're like, you see that shit? And the guy's like, I saw that shit, yeah. <laughs> Where? Right fucking here. <laughs> really, I was standing here, and then he killed that dude. <laughs> How funny would it be if that's what witnesses were like? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> what he looked like? He was like five two uh, to six eight, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fucking description you're gonna give us? Uh huh. <laughs> Anything else about him? Yeah, he had ears too. <laughs> Thanks, man. No problem. <laughs> They still will sketch that shit out. <laughs> and they show it to people. Do you know this guy? And everyone's like, nah. But then one guy will be like, yeah! That's Cricket right there! Like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know him? I've been knowing Cricket 27 years! <laughs> What's his real name? Man, that's just Cricket. I don't even know. <laughs> Stop being white and weird. That's a perfect fucking impression, and you know exactly who that was, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a black guy and he's wearing a wife beater and he's got on a dirty hat. <laughs> he's got a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. And he looks like he's about 33, but you find out he's 76 years old. <laughs> the Pegasus he speaks the, super yeah. aggressively to the cops. Like, I've been out here for a minute. And they're like, all right, all right, Jesus. <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? He came through with jellyfish last week. <laughs> 
we're looking for some smoke. And they're like, all right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they always cut to the whitest detective from that guy, too. They cut from that guy to the guy who's like, I don't think he's going to help us out. <laughs> we're going to have to find Cricket on our own. That show has the best moment in television. It's the most dramatic thing you could ever see, because it's real life, and that is the interrogation. The interrogation is amazing, because here's the thing about drama. If you want to have a great, dramatic moment, raise the stakes. Guess what? There's no higher stakes than somebody being questioned about taking somebody else's life. It's inherently compelling television. It is also super serious, but the detectives insist on using the suspect's street name so the whole thing turns into a fucking cartoon. Like, <laughs> they're literally like, your life is on the line. We need to talk to you. Why don't you have a seat, uh, little stank? Why don't you sit down for a second? <laughs> did you or did you not know Dookie Shoes? <laughs> I don't know no Dookie Shoes. I got a picture of you hanging out with Dookie Shoes. I mean, I've seen them. I don't know. <laughs> and then they'll throw one bit of evidence against the wall, hoping it'll solve the case. They'll be like, well, we were talking to uh, Naamin, and he said <laughs> that you were at the 7-Eleven last week. And he'll be like, yeah, I shot him in the face. And you're like, God damn, really? <laughs> That's all it took to break you? Dude, lie. Lie for longer. <laughs> you can kill somebody, you can't lie for 10 fucking minutes about it? <laughs> Like, dudes will break on anything. They'll be like, we heard you had on a blue shirt last Friday. Yeah, I stabbed those four people. <laughs> Dude, a lot of people have blue shirts, man. You can still get out of this. Here's what I've learned watching that show, okay? Lawyer up. You can't handle that shit. Everybody's like, I'm going to talk to the cops and straighten this whole thing out. You're going to do 25 to life. Have fun with that, man. <laughs> Nobody asked for a lawyer. I've seen 300 people get interrogated on this show. Two of them were like, I talked to a lawyer? And both times the detectives were like, fuck! <laughs> and then at the end of those episodes that said on the screen, all charges against Tayshawn were dropped. <laughs> or Jim, pick a fucking name. <laughs> Let's be honest, there's no Jims on the show. I've seen every episode, and none start with, hey, Bryce, can we talk to you for a second? <laughs> Where were you last Friday? I was over at Tanner's house. <laughs> then Skylar had a party, so we went over there. And then we picked up Connor, and we had pancakes. <laughs> Sorry, bro. The detective, bro, bro. <laughs> that was good. It was. No, it's very good bit. Yeah. He's kind of, he's one of them Tom Segura where I watch him sometimes and I'm like, mm, ladies, sort of how yeah. are we going to get this? And, uh, and then other times I watch him, I think he's hysterical. He is definitely hit and miss, yeah. I think, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, sometimes he can sort of like go along sort of a bit like that, but he does, he has some, uh, I mean, I thought has some good, that was brilliant. He yeah, has some good sketches in his armory, doesn't he? Yeah. He really does. I just like the way he was talking and like, doing the back and forth, sort of like the yeah. conversational sort of like comedy. That was, that was funny, that. Yeah. Really, really good. I like the way, I like, I like his body language when he was pointing at the body with his foot. Yeah. Just yeah. 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 That, that, that yeah. was funny, that. <laughs> Him and his wife do the, uh, their podcast, but mm. they live stream it and it'll be a ticket only live streaming event. Yeah that is on their website so they're not subject to uh, the issues you get with YouTube and Twitch right, and stuff right, like that. Right, okay. And apparently they show some of the grimmest clips you've ever seen on really? it. Really? And it's right. stuff that you just couldn't show on streaming platforms. Mm. And they just kind of like, I, th I don't know if they react to them or they watch it with a crowd and they all react to it. But yeah. it's like What sort really, of stuff are they showing then? Like things from, things like that? that no, for like, eight hours or? No, uh, well, from what I gather, I heard one where someone's like being, having the junk stamped on with stilettos. Yeah. And, and then like, I presume some sort of like. Usual Friday night for you, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so weird I mean, videos from around the internet. I that think so, yeah. Right, yeah, because right, okay. they do show some of it on their podcast, but only stuff that's YouTube friendly. Yeah. So it'll just be like ah, weird right, people okay. and people hurting themselves, but not too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But stuff I think that, it's like right. people, you know, getting severely hurt and like, yeah. grim things happening. But wanting it though, not necessarily. I d I, well, I don't know because I've never watched the, the live stream. I've just heard people talk about it. Yeah. But apparently, it's like it's ruthless. So at some point, I may I may have to get a dip into that an e ticket for it and watch yeah, it online. It does sound pretty good. Yeah, yeah. 
good. That yeah, it's good though. Yeah, it was very, yeah. Good. very good. Bit, nice that. on that. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.